Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with another video. This time, looky what I got. A uh, PS4 DualShock 4 controller, and it's pretty crusty. And uh, my buddy actually gave me the console, the controller, and a handful of games uh, to get me set up. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, take this guy apart, strip it down, and give it a nice clean. You can see there's a lot of, uh, for lack of a better word, finger cheese. <laughs> Uh, here and it's pretty uh, yeah I mean this is what happens when you play consoles and you use your hands so anyway not a big deal we're just gonna pop this guy open and uh, get it on its merry way everything does still work still turns on and whatnot just needs a good clean anyway okay yeah so just four screws and Let's see, I've never opened one of these up before. I have seen a video of it done though. It looks like we are gonna need to get fingernail. Yep. Just start prying. Okay, so I did a little bit of prying and the parts, basically there are clips along the side here and um, two actually on this part here underneath the actual joysticks and those are the parts that you kind of need to focus on uh, getting pressure in there carefully uh, it helps if you have like a spudger or whatever but I just use my bare hands and my fingernails and it worked out just fine uh, so anyway we're going to want to remove this detach this cable for the uh, the USB in the back as well as the light bar just get that out of the way okay, you can see that's Literally, all that's in here is, um, actually, that's interesting. There's a, um, RGB LED is mounted on the USB board, and there's actually a big light pipe that goes over. It's a clear piece of plastic, and then the diffusers in here. I thought that there'd be a vertical PCB or something, but yeah, that's an interesting solution. And, um, actually, we should be able to see, let's see, if I were to plug this in, be able to see yeah there you go so hopefully that's apparent yeah that's exactly how that works I'm gonna remove the battery next so yeah this battery is let's see a thousand milliamp hours at 3.7 volts it's actually rather light it's pretty large but um I think feels kind of hollow almost so this casing mostly must be for protection not you know the full size of the battery anyway uh yeah looks like there's one screw here and the board starts to lift out wiggle wiggle there we go the battery holder is gone that's just the board there is a ZIF connector going to, I'm guessing, the front flex for the, all the buttons. And the entire mid-frame assembly is just sliding right out there. Make sure nothing else is stuck. Make sure you clear the um, joysticks on there. This whole thing should just kind of lift out. Let's see what is stuck. Ah. Okay, so it's all out. So you can see the construction is this uh, kind of mylar. Flex uh, PCB, which has all the traces for all the buttons, and the pads are uh, carbonized. And you can see the speaker in here, headphone jack, um, the touchpad button, and um, rather interesting. Uh, this is the support structure. It um, flexes up and down to kind of add springiness to the uh, touchpad that'll push it back up when you release. But yeah, other than that, we have the, uh, the dual 
the namesake of the DualShock controller is these um, two eccentric rotary motors, basically, that um, one of them is for heavier vibration, the other one's for lighter. Yeah, other than that, we have our joysticks, which I will pop these guys off and give uh, the joysticks a clean. And other than that, we have just a few chips. That's actually interesting. There's a what looks like a Wolfson microchip, probably for handling the uh, audio and the microphone. Um, there is a larger uh, QFN here. Um, that might be for, I don't know, battery management, something like that. There's a uh, inductor right next to it, so it might be a switching supply. And if I carefully move this away, there's a much larger ARM processor. This is going to be the main chip. Uh, there's some support circuitry in here. I can see some tiny uh, SAT chips and whatnot. And finally, we have our Bluetooth. This is a uh, shielded cam, basically. And the antenna is, yep, it's a PCB antenna right on the other side. So yeah, interesting thing is the speaker actually has gold little contacts that go over underneath, so the speaker remains in the, uh, the mid-frame assembly. Um, kind of set that aside for now. And we have all our membranes and the buttons themselves, as well as the, uh, the touch pad, which, yeah, it just swings out like that. And um, I'll clean all these parts off separately. Um, this is going to be scrubbed by hand, but the rest, everything that isn't doesn't have metal, is going to go in my ultrasonic cleaner, which I'll show you in a second. And um, we're going to actually go through and you know clean all these contacts. They look pretty good to me, but I'll just give them a once over with some isopropyl alcohol, as well as uh, getting all these little tiny hairs that are all over the place out. Okay, and one final thing is I'll show you guys how to remove the, um, the two trigger buttons, the shoulder buttons rather. The trigger just comes off. There's... Um, some little plastic pegs there. You just got to be real careful. Get the one side off, get the other, and get your finger on there so the spring doesn't ping off. And there's a tiny little spring here. Just going to set that to the side. And the, um, the top of the shoulder button, there's actually little plastic reta retaining clips. If you get your fingernail in there, you can uh, get them out pretty easily there. And you can see just the plastic frame is left. And that's it. Okay, and to get the light bar out, just get our fingernail in between the uh, front diffuser and this kind of back support frame. You should be able to just lift it out. There we go. And then we can remove carefully the uh, some foam tape, it looks like. Okay, well, one of them ripped, but uh, yeah, there's a little bit of foam tape holding this part on, which is the light pipe and then there's a little diffusive material uh well diffusive uh etching on on there and then the actual external part and then just two screws pop this out and then we can actually wash this whole thing Okay, all that's left is uh, to just take, take some isopropyl alcohol and um, clean this touch pad here. Just get a little bit on the end. Yeah, that ultrasonic cleaner worked really well. I was actually pretty uh, shocked at how dirty the water that came off of it was. Looks pretty good to me. So yeah. Now all we got to do is just pretty much assemble in reverse. Now one thing to note is uh, this touch pad actually has to go through a hole in the midframe and you need to route the cable up to the top so that you can actually go and plug it in. 
Once that's all in place, I'm just going to put that one single screw back in to hold everything in. And finally, the light bar. It's just friction fit, so just got to push it in there. And yeah, I can already see power is on still. That's all good. So we're just going to work triggers in correctly. Make sure that uh, everything is kind of aligned semi correctly before we put this all back together. It's going to take a little bit of finagling. Um, so let's see. There we go. You got to make sure that the uh, back handles clear these posts. And there we go. Just sort of snaps together. Two snaps here, two snaps here, and we're ready to screw this together. Let's still see. Turns on. Yeah, uh, buttons all feel okay. Double check before we actually screw this together. That feels great. Now, just gonna have to clean off the heads of these screws. And there we go. Okay, so all in all, wasn't that difficult to, uh, to open up and clean. Everything is all squeaky clean now. Uh, no more finger cheese. <laughs> and uh, everything feels all right. All the buttons feel all right. Still turns on. Good to go. So yeah, I'm going to have to do something a little similar and clean off the uh, console itself. Um, it's a bit dusty and whatnot, but um, yeah, uh, we'll do that in another video maybe. And uh, yeah, so yeah, hopefully you guys, um, if you have a, a DualShock 4 controller and it's a little bit grubby or you're having trouble with uh, thumbsticks need to be replaced or anything else, uh, this video will definitely help you out. In a future video, I'm probably going to do a shell mod. I'm going to buy one of those cool looking clear uh, controller uh, shells, replace it, and I kind of want to do a clear uh, touchpad so you can actually see the uh, matrix pattern. That would be really cool. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.